I'm gonna go ahead and say that it is a very reliable engine, especially for the amount of power that it produces. Hey everyone, Jake from 8020 Automotive here. Today we're talking about common problems and reliability issues with GM's LT4 engine. We're talking about the fifth generation LT4, which was used in the C7 Corvette Z06, the Camaro ZL1, as well as the Cadillac CTS-V. This is a 6.2 liter V8 that also includes a supercharger and produces 650 horsepower. For being supercharged and producing 650 horsepower, the LT4 engine actually has a really good track record for reliability. There is, however, one kind of main concern with this engine, but outside of that, all of the problems that we're gonna talk about here shortly are relatively small and minor. So the one flaw of this engine is heat and overheating. This, I will say, is going to be more common or more frequent on people that track their Z06s or their ZL1s or people that do a lot of very spirited driving. These engines have a heat issue and that is because of the supercharger and the amount of heat that the supercharger produces. And of course, heat is one of the worst things for an engine from a reliability standpoint. So the overheating issue is predominantly the only thing that sends these things to the graveyard earlier than they should. So especially if you plan on modifying, tracking, or driving your LT4 aggressively, it's extremely important to look into cooling upgrades to improve the cooling system and prevent overheating that these engines are known for. So outside of heat issues, there really are very few problems on this engine because it is supercharged, as you would guess, a lot of the problems tend to come with the supercharger and ultimately with the fact that it makes 650 horsepower. Some other common problems that you're likely to experience on the LT4 is supercharger rattle, which is from the spring-loaded isolators. There's no performance or you know, costly repair that comes from this. It's just well known that these LT4 superchargers ultimately have a rattling noise that they develop over time. Additionally, very early models did have some supercharger problems, specifically with defective blower bearings. Most of these problems were discovered under warranty and fixed with the technical service board, but ultimately these blower bearings just lead to a lot of other rattling and whining related noises. So the superchargers themselves are actually very reliable. You just tend to get a couple noises and some other small things that tend to happen to them, especially as they get to higher mileage levels. But any serious issues that they did have with the supercharger were fixed under warranty early on. Second common theme on these engines is going to be with the direct injected systems. Because they are direct injected, you of course experience carbon buildup as well as more common high pressure fuel pump failure and more common fuel injector failure. So these are all more so maintenance items with respect to direct injected vehicles. They are things that the LT4 tends to suffer once you start getting to higher mileage levels, but overall not a serious concern for these engines in general. Outside of that, we've got issues with the oil pump. The oil pumps from 2017 to 2018 were very bad. From 2019 plus, they changed the oil pump and it got quite a bit more reliable, but the oil pumps on those 17 and 18 models are known to fail and that can lead to serious problems if you don't catch it immediately and stop driving right when it happens. So just a heads up that if you have a 17 or 18, it's worth looking into replacing the oil pump. And then my last thing on my list is gonna be valve springs. The valve springs aren't a problem necessarily. It's just something to note that once you start doing performance modifications and tuning and increasing the power here, the valve springs are the first weak point in the engine. So just a heads up that if you are doing some performance builds, the valve springs are something that you'll need to look into. Overall, outside of the heat issues with this engine, we've got some direct injected kind of maintenance items, some common quirks with the supercharger, and then some very kind of one-off miscellaneous oil pump issues and just performance concerns with valve spring power capacity. So there's not a whole lot on this engine that can lead to premature or catastrophic failure so long as the heating issue is addressed. And again, the heat problems tend more so to be on car that are tracked and modified. So with respect to the LT4 overall, I'm gonna go ahead and say that it is a very reliable engine, especially for the amount of power that it produces. We really just wanna make sure that we're taking care of heat 
and I'd absolutely recommend looking into cooling system upgrades to try to address the overheating because that's the one thing that will lead to serious problems on these engines. Everything else that we talked about here is more so minor maintenance related items that aren't going to lead to any serious concerns or repairs. That covers it for our video on LT4 problems and reliability. If you guys appreciate this content, please click the like button, subscribe to our channel, and stay tuned for all our future GM content.